All around him, he has unleashed evil. He's unleashed the fires of hell. He sits there in Panama and pontificates about the civil society while he's engaged in negotiations with the Islamo-Nazi regime in Iran, which is a terrorist regime, which has toppled several countries, which is building a caliphate, which tortures people and kills people at random. There is no civil society. It's Sharia law. Fundamentalism. Oh, we're going to engage in talks with them. He's engaging in talks with them. That legitimizes them in their own eyes. That empowers them in their own eyes. He wants to lift sanctions so that tens of billions of dollars pour into this terror state so that they can continue to build their nuke program, continue to perfect their ICBMs. And this guy's down in Panama talking about the civil society. He doesn't know a damn thing about the civil society. Not a damn thing. He's opening his arms to Cuba, for God's sakes. He treats Netanyahu like a pariah, and he can't wait to kiss Fidel Castro's ass. That's right, I said it. It's true. Listen to this guy go on and on. Oh, he was a professor. Professor of what? Sounds like a fool. Cut 11, go. As we move towards the process of normalization, we'll have our differences government to government with Cuba on many issues. Just as Well, we won't part of those differences be, pal? The gulag that they have with their political prisoners in there? Where they're tortured, where they're beaten? How about that? All huffy about Indiana and Rifra. There he is, shaking hands, two Decembers ago, with Raul Castro. Raul Castro has blood on his hands. And now I guess Obama does too. Go ahead. At times with other nations within the Americas, just as we differ with our closest ally. Oh, isn't that some, you know, ladies and gentlemen, and you may differ with your husband, you may differ with your wife, but the mass murderer down the street, you may have differences with them too, just like you do with your husband and your wife. Is this guy a clown or what? And he actually thinks what he's saying is so profound. It is. It's profoundly stupid. He's an embarrassment. Go ahead. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm here to say that when we do speak out, we're going to do so because the United States of America does believe and will always stand for a certain set of universal values. And when we do partner with civil society, it's because we believe our... Oh, right whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean when we partner with civil society? You don't partner with civil... He doesn't even know what civil society means. When we partner with civil society, civil society is or it isn't. It exists or it doesn't. You don't partner with it. Go ahead. Should be with governments and with the peoples that they represent. So, and when we do partner with civil society, it's because we believe our relationship should be with governments and with the peoples they represent. Tell me, do the Castro brothers represent their people? Does that pig in Venezuela represent his people? Does that pig in Bolivia represent his people? Does that pig in Brazil and the pig in Argentina, do they represent their people? Does that pig in Nicaragua represent his people? I can go on and on down that list of horribles. No, they don't represent their people. They repress their people. Well, we're going to the civil society. Oh, citizens get to speak out. Citizens get to speak out? They do in Cuba? Bolivia? Nicaragua? Really? If you're a prosecutor in Argentina, you're going to wind up with a bullet between your eyes or they're going to accuse the guy of uh, committing suicide. Or Venezuela, where they just convicted the top opposition leader, a mayor of another city, he's been thrown in prison. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, listen. The civil society, but we're going to open negotiations, we're going to release money, we want trade. Fifty years of failure, he said earlier. Fifty years of failure, Cold War failure. we we got to drop these policies. We have new policies. Really? So appeasement's a new policy. Well, appeasement's actually older than 50 years. And by the way, the Cold War worked. <sighs> wow. Where's the Soviet Union today? There is no Soviet Union today. Wow, the Cold War worked! I was thinking during the break, Obama can't give his civil society speech in the Middle East. He can't give his civil society speech in Russia. That must be why he's in our hemisphere, giving the civil society speech, because... The Obama touch hasn't touched it yet. Well, here it comes.